and have the good word of God and the powers of the world to come, and they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, saying they crucified to themselves the Son of God, afresh, whom put him to an open shame. For the earth which drinketh and the rain that cometh off upon it, and bringeth forth herbs, meet for them by whom they dress, receiving blessings from God. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected, and is not the cursing, whose end is to be burned. But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you than things that are accompanying salvation. Who we thus speak, for God is not unrighteousness, but for you work and labor of love, which ye have showed towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that every one of you should do the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. For when God made promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely blessing I will bless thee, and multiplying I will multiply thee. And so after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise, for men verily swear by the greater, and oath for confirmation, this of them an end of all strife. Wherein God willingly more abundantly to show unto their heirs a promise that meets validity, as his counsel confirmed it by an oath, that by two immutable things, in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation, who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope that set before us, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, most sure and steadfast, and which endure enter into that within the veil. Whither the forerunner is for us enter, even Jesus, made an high priest for every after the order of Melchizedek. Chapter 7 For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings, and blessed him, to whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all, first being by the interpretation of king of righteousness, and after that also king of Salem, which is king of peace, without father, without mother, but hath since, having neither beginning of days nor end of life, but made life unto the Son of God, abideth the priest continually. Now consider how great this man was, and to whom even the patriarch Abraham gave the tenth of the toils, and verily they that are the sons of Levi, to receive the office of the priesthood, have a commandment to take types of the people according to the law, that is, of their brethren, though they come out of the loins of Abraham. But he whose descent is not counted from them, received tithes to lay the hand and blessed him that had the promises, and without all contradiction, the less is the blessed of the better. And here men that die receive tithes, but there he receiveth them, of whom it is witness of that he loved. And as I may say so, Levi also, who received tithes, paid tithes, and Abraham, for he was yet in the loins of his father when men legends like met him, and therefore perfection whereby the Levitical release told for under it to the people received the law. What further knew was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek, and not be called after the order of Aaron. For the priesthood being changed, there is made of a necessity a change also in the law.